All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chen. Ugh, this camera is very annoying to adjust. Ugh, so I still have these skin rashes on my body, when I was, which I got from the hospital. Problem is, some of it is on my back, so it constantly scrapes against either the back of my chair or when I sleep. So I finally came up with a good solution, you know. Have it uh, rest on like a smooth part of a t-shirt like this one that I'm wearing and then you know it'll act as like a cushioning. Uh, so it's definitely working but oh, I'm still aching just a tad bit. It's just very annoying. Anyway I went to bed a little late last night I was playing games for a bit and then I woke up a little late and then now it's like 9 18 a.m. Now, unfortunately, I do want to keep an eye on these commodity prices, uh, but it does appear that, you know, the commodities I want to look at, I'm not, is this actually live? Yeah, it's not live. It's not live until 9.30 a.m., which is when our market's obviously open. So, I guess we'll have to take a look here. Uh, for some reason, this has spiraled back up to 96.3 for some reason. Uh, okay. Well, that was a quick change. I mean, not not much has really changed since the Fed minutes, so, okay. Alright, so stocks look like they're going to uh, be opening higher uh, in about 11 minutes. I'm actually thinking about buying 10 more shares of Jeppy, uh, just in case. Now I get in a little bit of that income. Uh, let's see. And, yeah, I mean, Boris Johnson is, you know, kaput now, because... Yeah, it's pretty obvious that he and his entire government have probably engaged in something really criminal, right? I have a guess what it is. I wrote it on my Twitter, but I'm not going to even mention or hint at it. And, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's trying, they're fleeing the ship, right? And I'm pretty sure nothing will ever actually happen to him when we do find out what it is. But, I mean, they're gone now, so... I mean, you could say it's the lockdowns, but I mean that was that's been known for a long time, and I believe the lockdowns have been over in UK for quite some time. So it's obviously not that, you know, it's something else. And of course, they'll probably not let us know. Now, bond yields were actually higher, uh, like about half an hour ago to an hour ago, and now I see it's coming down. So that probably means the you know, Fed's getting in there and buying the debt again. So. Let me go back to here. There's one thing I, um, you know, before we talk about, <clears throat> before we talk about this logarithmic chart, let's just see what's going on everywhere else. Yeah, I mean, crypto is doing okay. Stock markets are doing okay. Now, because of this new tweet that Richard Hart uh, put out about logarithmic charts versus linear charts, I do want that. <clears throat> it. What the hell is wrong, my boys? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's still very early in the morning. My body is a little sore. Uh, from being too well rested. Not, not the bad kind. And uh, right now, there's actually just a lot of crap I have to do. But I want to try to get this video out before... And I have to research this logarithmic chart versus this normal chart, which is called linear. Like, there's a big difference between the two. Stock features are higher, jobless claims data surprise slightly. Hmm, okay. Uh, but then the markets are still pricing in a 75 basis point rate hike. I mean, it did say from the June thingamajig that they're going to raise rates like crazy, so to fight inflation, which they kind of need to do. So, because inflation is really the result of them, you know, doing this stuff, right? And by the way, are they updating these numbers? We really need these numbers. Uh, three months. They still have not updated. So, man, these feds are so slow in updating, like, anything useful. I mean, they seem to update the reverse repo pretty quickly. Now, in an ideal world, you actually want to see this trending downwards. So that means... <clears throat> what is effing wrong with my voice? Shit's stuck in there. <clears throat> I probably need to eat something. Yeah, that's Satan trying to prevent you from getting my knowledge. 
so that you can all get become poor. But we're not gonna let that happen. All right, May 2022. We still don't have the June data. We probably don't have the June data here. All right. All right. Can they at least update the M3 money supply? No, of course not. All right. So it's a little hard to find out if we're gonna get any inflation. Now it is still pretty early in the morning, 9:23 a.m. So they're probably in the process of maybe updating some of these numbers. <clears throat> but we'll keep an eye on things. And then commodity prices are not going to update until in seven minutes. So, you know, the only thing I'm really looking for is, you know, an uptrend. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Last update, 844. Oh, that's, well, last update, 913. So some of it is starting to trade a little bit. All right. So the thing I want to look for is, you know, uh, obviously a trend in it. You know, an upward trend in price, right? Because I'm still guessing for now that the first signs of inflation coming back up are these commodity prices all going back up, all right, day to day. So, so that's going to be pretty uh, helpful and useful. Let me see. Can I reload this page? Hmm. Okay, so you can actually see the thing on the right starting up. Yeah, but this is gold, silver, and oil. I mean, those are are always trading. <clears throat> I don't know what the hell's wrong with my voice. There's like just phlegm for some reason. I feel fine. All right, so let me see. All right, so Greg Manriel said to watch for the debt market implosion, but I'm actually starting to think that maybe their manipulations. The Fed and the central banks might actually succeed. That's why I'm cautiously going back into the market, but still, you know, with safer mechanisms. All right, because they will, because eventually inflation will be under control. It's just a matter of when. You know, I actually don't agree with Greg in that they want inflation to spiral out of control. Like they want inflation because we want pr higher prices so we can make more money, but we don't want it so high that you know gas is like ten dollars a gallon or whatever right because that's just going to make people really mad <clears throat> you know but on the other hand i can't exactly discount you know uh you know a bear market crash coming as well because we know the debt market was imploding all right we saw it happen i saw it in real time happen you know bang 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 right as greg says all right you know boom 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 all right I think no, he says bang bang bang, but I did I, I did boom boom boom. All right, it's the same thing, right? Eleven basis points, fifteen basis points, twenty basis points, something just absolutely ridiculous. All right, and then when the Fed does raise interest rates, I mean it's going to put you know upward pressure on the yield, which means bonds are under pressure and they're going to start selling off to compensate. So I don't know, and of course you have this yield curve that's like like inverted or all sorts of screwed up because you know yeah we're about to get the data today if we find it july 7th which is right now that yeah we're in, we're in a recession so this is the first time i've ever seen this uh page right you know so this is the first time i'm about to see this number change from week to week so i'm kind of curious to see how accurate this thing is oh it even tells me uh, okay, in the second quarter of 2022 is negative 2.1% 2. 2 on July 1st, down from 1 point, minus 1% 1 on June 30th. Uh, okay, so this thing is definitely a lot more volatile. After the ISM manufacturing report, the now cast of second quarter real personal consumption expenditures growth and real gross private domestic investment growth decreased from 1.7% and negative 13.2% respective to 0.8% and negative 15.2%. Jesus, these are some nasty numbers. Yeah, I can see why everyone's dumping their bonds and inverting this yield curve. Yeah, it totally makes sense. So... Hopefully the central banks took my advice and then, you know, dumped all their bonds when, you know, people were buying up bonds like yesterday and I guess two days ago, right? And the 10-year yield and whatever was like, what, 2.8, 2.78 or something. 
that was a perfect time to, you know, dump some of your higher yielding debt that you were buying, right? Your Jerome Powell. And then inflating this balance sheet and then delever your position a little bit. So, uh, and notice that you don't really hear too much talk about, you know, the S&P 500 above the bear market uh, threshold. Because now we're at 38.65, 75. So, I don't know. We're getting all sorts of uh, contradictory, you know, information. Just like Greg said would happen, right? PSYOP. Um, I would definitely still be cautious because if there's a clear indicator that things are going up, I mean, it, you know, we'd probably be okay with paying a little bit more for whatever it is we want to buy, right? Because at least we have confirmation. Right now, we don't have confirmation. On the other hand, it does look like they've stopped a bear market crash for now, right? So the only thing we really need to look for is inflation, all right? And sadly, these numbers still are not updating yet. Yeah, because it's about two minutes to the opening bell. Hey, copper. There you go. Oh, boy. Wait. Crypto stock change percent change. Okay. Yeah, look at this on the... Oops, I need to hide my camera for a second. Look over here at the percentage change. All right. This is the column for percentage change of all these commodities. Now, this is from yesterday's data still because this is about to open. But if I see, if we start seeing this thing like over here <clears throat> on the right hand side, you know, you know, bang, bang, bang upwards, right? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we might have to, we might have to reconsider our situation and go, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe inflation is not under control after all. But on the other hand, if you look, as we already saw in the charts here, I mean, we've had some pretty severe downtrends. It's going to have to be a pretty big bounce back up, all right? Because so, you see a bounce up here, all right? Bounce up here, and then, you know, further down. You know, and of course, if the Fed raises interest rates at the end of the month, you know, that should actually help, you know, dampen prices a bit. And like Chuck Barone said yesterday, you know, uh, real estate prices are starting, are starting to come down, all right? Like, you know, it's, start, it's starting to pull back a bit. I wouldn't say real estate crash yet, because... That's far from the truth, but it is, you know, it's peaked and now it's going down, you know, it's just a matter of how far down is it going to go, all right? And it'd be kind of nice because maybe I might be able to afford a house eventually. All right, so I don't want to keep this video too long, and to be honest, I really don't have a lot of, uh, you know, time right now. Actually, the opening bell, so I want to, like, buy my Jeppy, all right? So you can just check my Twitter here, and I already retweeted it. You can read about the logarithmic chart. I, I'm pretty sure we'll talk about this in tomorrow's video, and I'll leave a link because I don't know much about it. I mean, I just literally just woke up, saw this. I had to do my video game stuff real quick, and then I hit the record button here. So, you know, and then I got to buy a stock. I might have to go see a doctor. You know, I got to call for, like, you know, other shit. It's just like... I'm kind of surprised that as little as I do, I actually have a lot to do. It's like, doesn't make any sense, you know? Eh, oh well, whatever. That's how it goes. It'll be worth it because, you know, you know as long as money is decent. All right, if you like what you saw, read, or heard, uh, that's the old outro, um, like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again to all the uh, old and new people uh, subscribing to this channel and watching this video. Thank you, thank you, and welcome, welcome. We rely on all of you to, you know, spread the word around. And, of course, to help prevent me from moving back in with my mom and dad, because that's just going to be really bad for me. All right. So, man, I really don't know how long this recession is going to last. All right. But, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see it. Uh, because I'm thinking... Just like Bitcoin crypto, isn't there a point where you just run out of debt to sell off and then like it's almost impossible to, uh, you know, have a debt implosion? But on the other hand, there's just so much debt out there and I can't really quantify it. I mean, like, if you go to the usdebtclock.org uh, site or whatever, right, it says the U.S. government has like, what, 30, 31 trillion with a T in debt. I mean, is that all, all? Is all that debt in in here, all right? I tried googling it. I could not find any info on this, like at all. I could not. I could not figure it out at all. So, 
Yeah, but like Greg says, definitely watch this 10-year yield. In fact, his video should be uh, processed and up on YouTube any minute. So I'm going to let you all go. I'll definitely see you all tomorrow, which is a Friday. I'll make sure I make my phone calls today. And let me think. Yeah, I definitely uh, proceed with caution. I don't know. What are the stocks doing right now? Okay, markets are actually open because it's two minutes after the bell. Hmm. So the overnight futures were lower for going higher. Yeah. Small business. Yeah. I mean, small business is over. Crude oil is surging. Yeah, it does look like commodities are surging. So what's PDBC doing? Because I don't actually invest in PDBC, but I like it because it gives me an aggregate idea. Gives me an aggregate idea of commodity prices overall. Yeah, so commodity prices are rising today probably. Okay. All right, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I guess we try this for a thumbnail if YouTube picks it up. I'll see you all tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching, and, um, I don't know, uh, happy Thursday, I guess. Yeah.